Hi, I'm Jennifer Hawthorne. I teach principles of math for freshmen. That is their split block for math and science. So depending on the day, they either get an Alex day to work on Alex. It's a computer-based program that kind of works on those missing or struggling skills from middle school and even from algebra one. Or they get what we consider an Algebra 1 homework day. If they still have questions on their Algebra 1 homework, they need to work on it. Or they want me to look over it and check over their homework. That is their day. So depending on when they have Algebra 1 class, depends on which day that they're working on it. From there, um, there are days that we will stop the class and kind of review, make sure we review for a test kind of work on any skills that they need to work on. The only homework they'll have for me in this class is Alex, and that's if they don't complete it in the classroom. So depending again, when their Alex days are, they have two to three Alex days a week, and they'll have a certain number of topics that they need to complete in a week. If they don't complete those number of topics, so currently they're working on 14 topics a week, if they don't complete 14 in their class periods, then I suggest that either they work on a little bit each day at home or they can leave them until the weekend. However, I prefer that they don't because most of them tend to wait till Sunday and forget that they're due before they get to school on Monday. Okay. My other class that I teach is Algebra 2. So in Algebra 2, um, not only are we going to work on our Algebra 2 skills, but we're going to work on practicing ACT questions. So every day when they come in, their bell work, they have three ACT questions. It's more of a participation grade. They're going to enter them into Google Classroom, where I can see kind of telling what their scores are, which questions do they miss the most, what do we need to work on for ACT. After their bell work, they turn it in. We go over every question. What is the right answer? How do we come up with that answer? Okay. Their homework is going to be anywhere from five to 10 questions. They're going to enter it into something called backpacks. It, what it does for me is it will not only show me, okay, what are their scores before we get to class on their assignment, but okay, if a certain percent of students miss number one, I want to go back and I want to make sure that I review number one. So we're using backpacks to turn in our homework um, in class. We'll be taking notes on certain days, and then on the other days, we're going to practice the, those problems in class. And so there's a day of notes, and then, or maybe a day or two of notes, and then a day of actually practicing those problems. Not only do they have them for homework, but we'll practice them in class. Okay, I use Google Classroom for both of my classes. Um, it's very important that they check it. If they are absent for Algebra 2, there's going to be Ed Puzzle videos that are on there that are videos that they can watch to take the notes from the classes they missed on notes days. Also, maybe if they're struggling on a certain type of question, they can go back and watch some of the, the notes from what we took in class or even watch those notes before you take a test to review anything. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact me on my email, which is jhawthorne at kpen.org is the best way to get a hold of me and it's probably the quickest response that you will get. Thank you.